Hi guys, it's Shirley here. So I changed jobs somewhat recently and I had to go through the entire negotiation process. So today I thought I would share with you, you know, uh, my personal negotiation process from eBay to Microsoft to ByteDance or TikTok, as well as some of the um, things that I used to help me navigate the waters. And then lastly, uh, maybe share also uh, when is a good situation where you can negotiate and when perhaps you wouldn't be able to have that opportunity to. So without further ado, I hope this video helps you and let's get started. So first, uh, I want to cover quickly the situations when you can negotiate and when it's perhaps not fitting to do so. So from my years of experience, I find the only situations where I had the opportunity to really negotiate on salary uh, to get more money is when you make the job switch. And that's not even an internal job switch because generally with internal job switches, uh, you also have less leverage and you are set in a specific band. For instance, when I was at Microsoft and I was looking at a internal team switch, there was really no say for me in terms of salary increases or a new job title or a role uh, increase or anything along the stock, uh, lines of stocks or bonuses because it's very much set in the way that if you make an internal company switch, all of your salary, your stocks, your bonus, everything stays the same and they have very strict guidelines around that. So even if you are inter uh, interviewing for a higher level role, when you are given the offer, it is still a lateral switch. So there's really no existing uh, negotiation to be had. Therefore, the best way to get more money or to really get a salary bump is to make a cross company jump where you can go through the entire negotiation process after do really doing your homework and knowing what your true value is. So this leads me to my negotiation process from straight out of college to eBay and then eventually to Microsoft and then to ByteDance, which happened more recently. So my first job out of college was at eBay and I had really loved the team and really enjoyed what I was doing. I was just so happy that I had a job out of college and I didn't have to, you know, spend months uh, doing interviews from one company to the other uh, and I was just delighted uh, with my job offer. And I had a really great manager at the time as well. And when I was given the offer, uh, she looked at kind of HR guidelines and there was a high band, medium band and a low band. And I think she just chose the medium band as a standard because uh, we didn't want to set super high expectations for a new grad just coming out of college. And we didn't want to come in at the bottom of kind of uh, the low band as well. So I, I think overall I was content with that first job out of college and I learned quite a bit and made some really, really good friends at eBay. But when I came to my three year mark and it was time for me to move on to something different and something new, I started interviewing and got an offer at Microsoft. As you can imagine, most of us, when we get an offer, we're just super ecstatic that, you know, we finally have a job offer. Uh, we have gone through the phone interview and then the case take home case interview. And then finally, uh, the on site, which is an entire day of maybe four five, six rounds of interviews back to back. So it's very, very intense. So when the whole process is over and I finally did get that offer, I was just delighted. And I think I was so happy that I didn't really bother uh, with negotiating and almost took the first offer that came my way. But with tech companies, the first offer that comes your way is generally not the final offer unless HR explicitly calls that out. They expect you to negotiate and they expect you to come back with a counter. 
And I think at that time too, because that was uh, two and a half years ago at this point, I didn't really know the industry standard that well for a product manager. I was still very much on the mindset of, you know, I started off at eBay as my first job out of college and it wasn't necessarily a product manager role. I eventually pivoted towards what a product manager would be doing at that company and after after I had left, uh, several of my old co-workers had the official title switch, but because it was more of a hybrid at that time, I didn't know as much about industry standard as I would now. So I was just very excited to finally have a job offer from Microsoft and I didn't have the resources such as blind and levels.fyi where people are posting real salaries and real offers. I only knew about Glassdoor and the information from Glassdoor can be quite stale and out of date. So I took the job offer that I had and I didn't even negotiate on the stocks, which by all standards now is quite a bit below um, what you would expect. And I also only was able to bump my base up by a tiny bit and was able to negotiate a little bit of a sign on bonus. So I was quite happy with this until I had shared this with maybe some of my friends afterwards and they tell me, oh really, <laughs> you, this is what you ended up with? You should have negotiated a lot more. Uh, but that was fine. It was still a good learning experience for me and I had an enjoyable two years at Microsoft. With ByteDance, I think my biggest leverage was that I already had another job offer uh, before ByteDance gave me the offer to join their TikTok team. And when you have multiple offers, I think that's the best leverage you can ask for because this is when you have a second best alternative. You don't necessarily have to take their offer anymore and you can leverage that offer to, you know, get them to match it or exceed it before agreeing to sign and join their company. And I was in the process of interviewing for a third job already uh, and had an onsite shortly after my bite dance offer so they were interested in getting me to sign ahead of my interview in case that other company gave me the another offer and i would have more choices and more decisions to make so i think the best leverage that you can have when it comes to negotiating with a new offer is to have multiple competing ones of course i didn't do as well as my husband did uh, who had i think four offers when he was interviewing Viewing, uh, back last year but I think it was from my experience the best that I have done thus far and I didn't jump the gun as quickly as I did in prior years or prior times where I was just so grateful and so happy that I had a job and had an offer that I took essentially the first one that came along so with this I did a lot of research. By then, I already knew kind of the industry standard and what to expect. I did a lot of research on levels.fyi to see, you know, comparably what other tech companies are paying for product managers with about five years of experience. I also finally did not look at Glassdoor because I think that was super outdated and that was where I was super dependent on when I was uh, in my first and second job looking for comparative salaries. So I didn't even bother with Glassdoor. I also looked to see what my husband's salary was like and also the offers that he had gotten as a software engineer. So even though the PM salaries are generally a lot less than software engineers, it was still a better benchmark if I knew, all right, these companies are paying XYZ, I can expect therefore ABC for PMs or do some sort of calculation myself. And of course, I also browse through Blind a lot. And this was a anonymous app where a lot of people post their real offers, their real packages. And it was super eye-opening because I never used this tool prior to this time. And I was so surprised at, you know, really how much money people are making and how oblivious I had been to all of this ahead of time or in prior years. 
So those were the tools at my disposal and the things that I helped to benchmark to see, you know, what is my true worth and how much am I able to confidently ask for and can expect. One of the things that helped me was remembering that the company has already invested so much time and effort in interviewing you. And when they finally give that offer, it's because they want you to join the team. Therefore, you should try to negotiate to fight for your best opportunity or your best salary that you can get. And it doesn't hurt to at least try and make sure that you know you enter on a good note. That overcomes my prior fears of negotiating, thinking if I was too aggressive or if I tried a little to push a little bit harder, the company is not going to want me anymore. So I hope that was helpful and until next time. Bye.